Well, I think it tells us what we already know and, of course, what Americans understand, which is the crisis was much deeper. And the, the damage to confidence and to wealth and to people's base sense of security much greater even than people sort of could see in the numbers at the time. You know, remember, the economy was shrinking at an annual rate of 9% in the fourth quarter of 08. And the stock market and house prices had fallen very dramatically at that time. Now, those measures of wealth and income uh, started to move up really quite early in the first half of 2009. So the value of people's pension savings uh, started to go up again beginning in uh, the second quarter of 2009. And income growth, median income growth, started to recover again beginning there over that period of time. But, you know, it was a deep, traumatic whole uh, scars across the economy still. And we've got a long way to go to grow out of that, I mean, to dig out of that, uh, repair that damage, absolutely. But most of that damage was done, that damage to wealth in that report, in the Fed's report. You can see in what happened to equity prices and home prices, and that damage... Uh, those things started to improve and reverse, or at least start to stabilize, when the president's policies and the Fed's policies started to get more traction. And they got traction very quickly. Again, if you look back over that period of time, really remarkable. You know, you went from an economy falling at an annual rate of 9% a year, and we had positive growth uh, in the summer of 2009. So in a six-month period, you went from an economy that was really falling off the cliff to an economy growing. Now, uh, growth has not been as strong as any of us would like, in part because of Europe, in part because of the headwinds from uh, fiscal contraction at the state and local level, and partly because of you know, the digging out of the excessive debt that helped create the crisis. But um, I think in some ways that story is a story of how effective and how quickly you saw the economy start to stabilize and recover because we were... We did move uh, very forcefully. We went in very hard and very fast, and we did the hard, very difficult political things very, very quickly, and that made a huge difference. didn't solve all our problems. Still a lot of challenges ahead, but that was very important.